Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know you're still coming into the auditorium, but we have a little experience uh, to start off this, uh, this exciting day. Uh, my name is Todd Macover, and I'm a professor at the MIT Media Lab. And I want to introduce a few of my colleagues, Elliot Heldman, uh, Rebecca Kleinberger, and uh, Ellie Jessup, also from the Media Lab. Now, the voice, the human voice, is the most powerful, the most personal, and the most interpersonal musical instrument that we have. In a moment, uh, you're going to have the opportunity to hear some of the most beautiful voices in the world, the vocal ensemble Blue Heron, and you'll also have the opportunity to sing and to chant with Blue Heron. Before I invite Blue Heron to the stage, I wanted to tell you just a minute about a brand new project that we're starting, a collaboration between the MIT Media Lab and the Dalai Lama Center for Ethics and Transformative Values. Because the voice is so powerful, we're first of all trying to study what happens to our minds and to our bodies when we listen and when we sing. And we're trying to use that information to develop totally new ways of using our voices, and especially the vibrations of our voices, to focus our minds and to transform our bodies in many positive ways. The project is called Vocal Vibrations, and we gave a first glimpse of some of this research yesterday at the MIT Chapel at the end of the session, right after this Kresge session. Uh, what we did yesterday was Blue Heron performed uh, some early English vocal music, and we measured the reactions of the singers and also of the audience. And so now I'd like to introduce uh, Elliot Hedman from the Media Lab, who's going to tell you just a little bit about what we found yesterday. Elliot. Thank you, Todd. I want you guys to show me with your fingers right now how excited you are. One being I am completely relaxed. I might be in a coma, call an ambulance. And 10, I am so excited I'm having seizures, you should also probably call an ambulance. So go ahead and lift up your fingers and show me how excited you are. At the MIT Media Lab, oh, wow, there's a lot of excitement in the room. Um, <laughs> at the MIT Media Lab, we're looking at new ways of understanding people's emotional experiences using technology. And I want to tell you about one of the newest technologies we're using is a sensor that we put on people's wrists, and it measures their electrodermal activity. When a person becomes excited, frustrated, anxious, reactive, the technical word here is physiologically aroused, we can see increases in their electrodermal activity. And so as a quick start up the project um, research, we worked with the Blue Heron to measure people's electrodermal activity during the concert yesterday. And I want to tell you two people's stories about what happened. So we measured one performer. And when she was singing, we first saw an excitement and anticipation as she's about to get on stage, as she's thinking about starting to sing. But as she started to sing, what we noticed was there was very few reactions. She actually entered almost a state of flow, where she was just outputting and becoming part of the song right away. And then I want to tell you another story about one of the audience members. He came from Boston University. And unlike the singer, he was reacting all the time. He was really excited about all this new information coming there. And we were able to see his story when those exciting parts where the, the singers were singing those really high-pitched parts. I'm not going to try to do that. Um, but when that was happening, we could actually see him getting excited as well. But we could also, which was really surprising, see when the singers stopped singing, when there was a really low tone where it went, oh, just kind of cut off. That also got him excited. And I asked, what was going on at that point in time? We saw a reaction there. And he explained to me, at that point in time, I knew something was about to happen. I was anticipating it. But at the same time, my mind was empty. There was nothing there. And it was a real, really wonderful experience. So we're really excited to look at how can we use technology to better understand the emotional experiences as we either meditate or listen to music or even both. So I'll turn it back over to Todd. Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So now we'd like to start the morning with some of the most beautiful music you'll ever hear. We're very privileged to have one of the world's great vocal ensembles based right here in Boston, Blue Heron, conducted by Scott Metcalf, and I'd like to invite them to the stage. Uh, they'll sing some fabulous music for you and invite you to participate. So Blue Heron, please give them a hand. Good morning again. <laughs> Todd suggested that we ask you to participate um, in using your voices against the polyphony that we, that we will sing. We are, will sing music in five different parts with two or three singers sharing a line. But this is a piece where if you hold one note for most of it, you will hear the way uh, our pitches and our harmonies uh, play against that home pitch and eventually return to it. And then at the very end of this section of music, you have to switch notes. And I will show you where to do it. But here's your part. And your next note is this. That's it. Let's practice. <laughs> now it's important when you're doing this that you pause often and breathe. Don't feel that you have to make a heroic effort to keep singing. Just keep, keep the pitch going, and here's our change. That's all. Now here, are, ready? We're going to sing a little bit of chant, and then we'll sing this piece, which takes about three minutes of that pitch that you please sustain and breathe. And then I will show you where to switch, and we'll finish together. Here's the pitch again. Okay. So just keep it going.
Thank you. Thanks. Thanks to Todd for coming up with that idea, and I hope you... It's interesting. We'll now uh, we'll like to sing for you the whole piece. Should we do that, or should we do the mason? Let's do the mason. I think we'll sing a different piece for you. <laughs> that one's beautiful, and now you heard it once. We'll do another one.
We'd like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to Todd Macover and the group Blue Heron. I'm sure you'll agree with me that they did an unbelievable job uplifting us this morning as we wait for His Holiness to arrive. And since we're still waiting for His Holiness to arrive, um, we've asked uh, our violinist to perform for us yesterday, Adrian Anantawan, to please reprise um, the music he played for us yesterday. I was just thinking that what can I do alone with this singular instrument? And uh, what comes to mind is a, a piece by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. It's a uh, solo uh, movement from a solo partita. And one of the great things about uh, Bach was that he was able to transform a melodic instrument uh, into something that could almost feel like a choir playing many voices at once. So I hope you enjoy.
I've been told that I should play another <laughs> instead. Um, let's see. Let me think of something. <laughs> okay. So this is a piece I played yesterday as well, but I thought it's also appropriate to play it again. It's a meditation from the Thais from Jews Methane.
been told I should play one more. <laughs> I don't know how much more is in my repertoire list, so let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is actually, I think, uh, the most difficult yet also the most simple song that we know on the violin repertoire. It's a uh, tune by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. <clears throat> You'll agree with me that was an extraordinary performance by Adrian Anantawan. Take a bow. Oh. <laughs> Bravo. You don't know that he was called in at the last moment on waivers and he did an extraordinary job uh, at the last minute filling in for us. I'd ask you just to uh, remain waiting quietly with us. Um, His Holiness has left the hotel. He should be arriving here at the building within the next three or four minutes. So I'd ask that you, in the spirit of anticipation, waiting for his arrival, just kind of remain quietly in your seats and he'll be with us shortly. Thank you very much.